Welcome back everybody to our ninth episode, our final turkey episode. Uh, this is the dry fly and to start this is a 315 fire hole. Great, really deep, great for clink hammers and mayflies and things like that. So this is the tip of the tail feather. So you see I've cut it there and what I've done is now I have an extended body. So this is the, the quill of the feather. I have an extended body and my own little tails at the end. And so what I'm gonna do, because this the feather is flat, is I'm gonna tie it to one side. So it will basically look like that. All right, no real difference. Um, this will allow the tails to be straight. This will allow the tails to stay straight. So from here, I'm going to go back to a wing feather where we got those biots from last time, but I'm gonna go from the opposite side. The reason being, the opposite side has a biot that's a little fluffier. I guess you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. It's a little fluffier and it's longer. So I'm going to tie this in, and again, right at the, tie the tip down, work back, and then I'm going to work forward. This body is going to be very short um, because we are going to primarily be focused on this tail and we need room to wrap our hackle and stuff like that. So it's okay to make this body longer, but just know that you are going to be cutting it relatively short. So I'm going to be grabbing some hackle pliers. Um, again, before I lay, where is my, there it is. Before I lay any, um, any biots down, I like to just put a, just the littlest bit of super glue. It just helps with stability for that body and it really increases the life of this fly. All right, so if I could get this to cooperate. So this is going to be sort of a black and whitish body. Um, you'll see it as it develops. There we go. Look at that. I have this black hackle. Our body is kind of a whitish blackish, so I, I want this to be sort of one of those darker mayflies. Um, that's really what this is imitating as a mayfly, by the way. So I'm going to tie that in. Just secure that. Now I'm going to tie in my wing. Now there's a couple different ways to do it, but essentially it's going to be a soft hackle wing, or sorry, not a soft hackle, a, uh, a wet fly wing, but just vertical. So what I'm going to do is take some tail fibers. So this is just some fibers from your tail and I'm going to try to line them up nice and even. That ain't too bad. All right. So here's going to be my wing and what I'm going to do is tie it in on top like so, and then I'm going to pull it forward. That looks just fine. Lock in the front without crowding the eye, hopefully. <laughs> All right, pull these fibers back, go behind them. I want my hackle to be really the supporting feature. So this wing, I don't really want it to be thread supported. I want it to be hackle supported. So I'm gonna go behind it three times and then I'm really gonna push it on top. Two, three, and then I'm gonna catch it with my red thread. Here it is, here's our pattern, nice and super buggy. If you don't like this white tail, you can come in with whatever marker, and I'll just show you real quick. You know, you can come in with any Sharpie and color it. It takes color very well, so there I just kind of made it a black. Um, you know, and you can do the same thing with the tail fibers. You can make those dark as well. I uh, hope you guys like this pattern. I, I think it's a super nifty one, and. Unique, looks different, you know? Uh, I don't know. 